Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial by atbcpa.com. In this video, we'll show you how to set up an inventory assembly item in QuickBooks Desktop. Let's get started. First, navigate to the main screen of QuickBooks. From here, you'll begin the process of creating an inventory assembly item. Go to the Lists menu and select Item List. Then, at the bottom of the list, Click on the Item button and select New. In the Type drop-down menu, choose Inventory Assembly. Enter a name for your assembly item. For this example, we'll call it June 2027. Next, you'll need to select the components that go into this assembly. In the Bill of Materials section, add the products that make up the assembly. For our test product, the components are July 27 TNs. And New Item 2. If a component is not already listed, you'll need to create it. Click Add New to create a new inventory part for each missing component. Enter the necessary details such as name, cost, and vendor information for each component. For the Yasidians, July 27 2017, enter a cost of 6.00 per unit. For new item 2, enter a cost of 4.00 per unit. Once all components are added, set the cost price for the assembly item. This should reflect the total cost of all components combined, which in this case is 10.00. Now, define the minimum and maximum inventory levels for the assembly item. This helps manage stock levels and ensures you don't run out or overstock. Set the minimum quantity to 2 and the maximum quantity to 50. Next, update the costs of the manufactured items to reflect the cost of the components. This ensures that your inventory valuation is accurate and up-to-date. Adjusting these costs regularly helps in maintaining precise financial records. Set the selling price for the assembly item. Enter the desired selling price in the sales price field, which is 20.00 for this example, finally, Assign an income account for the assembly item by selecting Merchandise Sales from the Income Account drop-down menu. This ensures that revenue from sales is recorded correctly and aligns with your financial reporting. After entering all the details, click OK to save the inventory assembly item. You can now view the new assembly item in your item list and manage it like any other inventory item. That's it. You've successfully created an inventory assembly item in QuickBooks Desktop. This setup will help you efficiently manage your inventory and keep track of assembly costs. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more QuickBooks tips and tutorials. Visit our website at atbcpa.com for more information on our services.